Hey guys, sorry the other video ended kind of prematurely. I hit the wrong button when I went to pause the video. I hit stop instead. Sorry about that. But anyways, look at the words I put on the board. So list in ABC order. I have two sets of words. And then the third set of words, I'm going to have you guys write down. Like I said in the other video, I'm going to have you guys write it down and um, take a picture after you've finished listing them in ABC order. Take a picture, send it to me, or Ms., well, send to Mrs. Spadano, or post it on Red Web. Anyways, look at our first set of words. We have house, tree, joy, and hammer. So I see these two words start with the same letter, but um, before we get there, let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Jesus died for you and me. H, I, J, O, H. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so like I said, these two start with the same letter, so I'm going to go ahead and underline the second letter instead. I have A and I have O, and we all know A is the first letter of the alphabet, right? Okay, so the next one, I don't have to see the whole alphabet because it's the next H letter word. And then look at the next two, I have T and J left. So let's go ahead and sing the alphabet again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Jesus died for you and me. H, I, J, ding, ding, ding. We got J right here. And then T is the last word, so it would be four. One, two, three three, four. All right. Cake, month, cloud, and music. Let's go ahead and sing the alphabet, okay? A, B, C, ding, ding, ding. We got C, but we also have C down here. Cake and cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and underline the next two let, uh, letters in those words. And A is the first letter of the alphabet, so cake comes first, and then cloud. And then looking at the next two, we don't have to sing the whole alphabet because they both start with the same letters. That means there's no other letters that we're working with, so I'm going to go ahead and underline the next two letters in those words because they will start with M, U, and O. Let's sing the alphabet, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, S, I, for you and me, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, Jesus, Dr. Sin, full men, amen. O, ding, ding, ding. We found O right here. So O makes month. Number three in ABC order and music is number four in ABC order. So now I want you guys to go ahead and grab that sheet of paper that you're going to use. Um, it doesn't matter what sheet of paper, as long as it's a blank piece of paper, like last week, as long as it's a blank piece of paper, I want you to number them, not, not number them. I want you to list these words that I'm going to read out to you. I want you to list them the way I have listed these words on the board. Okay, you ready? The first word is umbrella. Umbrella. The next word is ice. Ice. The next word is balloon. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and put them on the board so you can see the spelling of them. And the last word is book. So I have umbrella. Ice, balloon, and book. These are the words you guys are going to be listing in ABC order. So I want you to write them down just the way I have. I want you to list them in ABC order. Take a picture, have mom or dad send it to Mrs. Badano, or you can post it on Red Web and if you get you get something for participating, but you get a little extra something for getting all the answers right. Good job, everyone who did, um, who got your your um, letters listed in ABC order last week. Good job to you, got those of you who participated. So, real quick, we're going to review how to or review um, subject verb diagramming. So I'm going to write a couple of sentences on the board, and then we're going to get into today's worksheet page. Okay, so first thing to diagramming the sentence is, let me grab my pink marker. I need to find the verb first, the word that's showing action. So reading the sentence, Kyle saw a lizard. <clears throat> so the word showing action in the sentence is saw. Now who saw a lizard? Kyle did. 
underline that once, we have our subject and our verb. So, you put exactly in that same order when you diagram Kyle stop. Just like that. Make sure the line goes through and through, all the way through. It's very important to keep in mind for the future. Our next sentence says Jordan's fish swims in its bowl. Swims is the word showing action. Some people probably wish you could go outside swimming if you guys don't have a pool in your house because it's really hot outside these days. So who swims in its bowl? Is it Jordan's? No. I don't think Jordan would be swimming in a bowl. That doesn't make any sense. Like a small bowl, he couldn't fit in it. Fish swims in its bowl. So once again, you put the subject first, and then you put the verb. Remember, the subject is who or what is doing the action or the verb. Okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and pull out your worksheet. Today's worksheet is page number 315. 315. We're going to continue working with our dictionary skills. On the top of the page it says, remember, the words listed in the dictionary are called entry words or entries. An entry can tell you how to spell a word, how to say a word, what kind of word it is, what it means, and how to use the word correctly. So remember, the spelling of the word is something important a lot of times we use the dictionary for how to say the word, the pronunciation of the word. What kind of word is what kind of word is it? As in is it a noun? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective? Is it an adverb? The kind of word it is, what it means, the definition of the word. You don't know what a word means, so look it up in the dictionary. And how to use the word correctly, how you would correctly use that word in a sentence. Okay, so they gave us a list of words there with their definitions, like we would find them in the um, dictionary, though those would actually be called entry words. So our instructions say, look at the entry words above, answer the questions. So the first question says, which of these entries would you find first? That means we're going to need to look at the first letter of each of those words. So I would underline the first letter of each of those words they have up there. Um, so we're working with M, I, C, D, and M. Okay, well let's sing the alphabet together. A, B, C, ding, 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 couple starts with C. So in the space right next to the first sentence, you're going to write couple right there because couple starts with C. The next question says, which of these entries would you find last? Oh, I guess you might want to go ahead and list them all alphabetically then to help us figure that out, right? So let me go ahead and put them on the board to make it a little bit easier. So we already know that couple is the first one because we just answered that question was the first entry word. So looking at the rest, we're working with I, M, and D. Well, let's sing the alphabet. A, B, C, D, ding, ding, ding. D means that delay comes second in A, B, C order. Next, we're working with I and M. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Jesus died for you and me. H, I, ding, ding, ding. We got I right here. Three. And then the last two words, moist and mayor, both start with the letter N. So I'm going to go ahead and underline the second letter in those words. Now we have A and O. A is the first letter in the alphabet. So that means mayor is four and moist is five. So moist is the answer to our question. It's the last um, word that we would find in that section. So when it says, which of these entries would you find last? Moist is the answer to that question. The next, um, I'm going to let you do the next couple on your own. The one I want to do with you is where it says, choose a synonym to write in the blank. So it's, an, it's the last one. It's the last um, thing you're doing with the words there. It says, choose a synonym to write in the blank. Now remember, a synonym, a synonym is a word that means the same thing. So looking up, it says, um, let's see, it says, Uncle Max has a blank of hunting dogs. Underneath your blank, it has the word couple right there. So it's telling you to use a word that means couple, but isn't the word couple. So let's go up to the word couple. Let's go up to where they have the definition. Up there, let's look at couple. 
It tells us couples and noun, then it says two objects that are similar. Then it gives us the pronunciation of how you would pronounce the word couple. And right next to that, it says synonyms. So you can use either one of these three. You could use pair, set, or team. So Uncle Max has a blank of hunting dogs. I'm going to choose pair. Uncle Max has a pair of hunting dogs. Couple means two objects that are similar. So pair is another way of saying a couple. So that's where you're going to put in that sentence. That's what they mean when they say use a synonym. So I'll let you do the next sentence by yourself. Olivia was so hungry that her lunch was gone in a blank. So you're going to go up to look at instant because instant's underneath the blank. You're going to go up to look at instant and do the same thing. Anyways, looking down at the dictation on the bottom, I'm going to say the sentence and you're going to fill in the blanks. There you have some of the words there. You're going to write down the missing words. Okay, don't forget to write in cursive. And if you have not already done this, please put your name on your paper. Okay, use proper capitalization and pronunciation. All right, little mice nibbled olives politely and quietly. Little mice nibbled olives politely and quietly. Okay, hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is the end of our phonics lesson for today. And I guess you guys will see me again tomorrow.